Hey everyone, yes, it's 1020 at night, and yes, I'm doing a video, and you can't see me because it's 1020 at night, but I wanted to show you my tip for the day. So I have the new garlic press, and this is my favorite new toy. Um, it's phenomenal, you guys, but I want to show you a little trick because I'm going to prep my garlic, but I'm also going to make garlic oil because you all know I cook with a lot of garlic. So I have my olive oil that I keep in a glass jar and I'm going to put garlic oil in a glass bowl. So I'm going to put olive oil in here because this is great for flavoring things. But I want to show you how to make garlic oil and not waste anything. So into the chamber, you put your clove of garlic. Now this is a whole clove. This has not been cut up, chopped up, skinned, anything. It's just a whole clove of garlic. And I'm going to, and this takes a little muscle work, so I've got a separate container to put my chopped garlic in, so I'm not gonna waste anything. So I'm gonna press down. And that's gonna release the garlic and super fine and you get about oh half teaspoon to a teaspoon per garlic so that goes in the garlic container but then you've got all of that lovely remnant of garlic so I'm gonna take my knife and just put that right in the olive oil and that is going to season and flavor my oil so again, I'm gonna repeat this step. This is gonna just get some water in there to keep it from drying out. But again, this is a whole clove of garlic. I bought a pound of garlic for about a dollar. So put your clove in. And again, this takes some muscle power. And you're gonna just press down. And it's gonna release the garlic. And that went into my bowl. I have a little bit on the side because I squeezed a little too hard. Oops. I'm gonna take that skin, that's the whole leftover remnant, and put that in the olive oil. Put your clove in. Press down. Release the garlic. Scrape that into your bowl. There's your skin. Put that skin into your olive oil. I love to cook with flavoring, but why waste that skin? That's still got plenty of remnant in there. And I use, you guys, you know how much I love garlic. I use garlic for everything. This has got a little thing for cleaning, but I can't find it, so the knife works. Put that in there. I'll do a few more. I can't see if anyone's commenting, so just bear with me because of the angle of the camera. But put your whole, again, this is a regular, usually you have to smash the garlic and chop it and make a puree out of it. I'm making a mess actually kind of but I'll get this so I'm getting two things out of one I've got my garlic for future meals and cooking and I'm gonna make garlic oil don't ask me where I came up with this because I have no clue I just thought there's still lots of flavor in there why waste it so I thought how can I make this multi-purpose and I thought uh-huh this has still got lots in there. Let's make garlic oil. So I'm using glass because the, the oil will, the flavor would stink up the plastic, which I'm gonna keep this as a garlic container. This was a gift to me. I demoed it last night on our Pampered Chef party that we're doing to get gifts for our December gift away. And I got to keep this because someone actually 
went online and told Kim to get one for me. So I'm just gonna finish up this bag. I don't know who's all on. You should be in bed, everyone. I'm not up watching me do crazy demos. But you know, I have to do something at least once a day. If you have a bad wrist or bad thumb, this will not be ideal for you. So see how that skin stuck in there? Just take your little knife. And yes, this does have a thing that comes with it. I just can't find it, like I said, it's somewhere. But I bought this garlic. Now I've got, usually when I cook for you guys, I show you my jar of garlic, which I keep in my fridge. It's like six bucks for a big jar. Well, I bought a pound of garlic for a buck. Press down, release, and I use this, like I said, in almost every recipe I make. I use garlic, unless I'm baking. I don't bake with garlic, unless it's like bread, maybe, or a roll. But can you imagine all the flavor that's gonna have when that sits? You can brush that on bread. You can brush it on chicken. It's kind of mesmerizing. But I love how this works so slick. Um, so I will not promote a product I don't think is worth promoting unless it's really worth promoting. And you guys, this garlic press is amazing. I absolutely love it. So, I just thought I'd pop online. My brain doesn't stop, especially late at night. And I thought, how am I gonna make that garlic multi-purpose? So that was my brainiac idea, was to use the skins from the garlic and make garlic oil. Can you imagine that on food, you guys? And this is then you're not wasting anything. So, let me get some water in here. Scrape up the little bits of garlic I lost. That's about, I would say good four teaspoons out of a few heads of garlic, so I didn't waste the skins. Let me get some water. You don't want your garlic to dry out, so that will keep it moist but not lose the flavor. So I'm gonna put that in the fridge, I will date it. I'll do more garlic. There's my oil. So that's gonna sit in a glass container in olive oil, I use olive oil. I'm gonna brush that on chicken, I'm gonna brush it on bread. But there you have it, you guys, a very easy way to do garlic. This is a garlic press. It is a Pampered Chef product, but let me tell you what you guys, this does work amazingly. So, let me see who's commenting. I can't see from angle, sorry guys. Let me try and read here without, oh, let's see what this says. I never used fresh garlic in my life until I got my Pampered Chef garlic press and now I use it all the time. Wonderful. Um, and that, and what was that repairing knife? Um, this is actually Chicago Cutlery. And soaking the skin in olive oil. Brilliant. Oh, well, yeah, thank you. I had to do something this time of night. So, anyway, you guys, ooh, just real quick again. I have my garlic press. I have olive oil. I did not want to waste those skins. So I pressed my garlic, put the skins in the oil. This will be great on chicken, on beef, on pork, on bread. You can use in recipes. I took my garlic that I pressed, and you get half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. Put it into a separate plastic container because I'll keep using this for garlic. I put some water in there because you don't want it to dry out. You want to keep that moist. And then I'll go in the fridge.
So there we have it. Um, you should be in bed too. Yes, I should be. So you guys, find tools that work. This is the one that really works. Like I said, I don't push products unless I think they're wonderful. This one's worth getting. I thought, eh, that's a garlic press. Who cares? But let me tell you what, this one's amazing. Happy cooking, everyone. Cook with love.